Moin! Welcome to my channel, Tech and Ice. Today I'd like to tell you something about this, the Everwatch Ultra. Let's get started! I've had this watch for about six months or so now and Honestly, it's one of the best model watches I've ever had. It's one of the most expensive things I've ever bought. It's definitely the most expensive watch I've ever bought. I came from an Apple Watch Series 6, which was around the half, half the price of the Apple Watch Ultra when it came out. I've also got the Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. And that watch is also around half the price of this Apple Watch Ultra. So sometimes I think it's a bit difficult to justify the price of this very, very expensive watch. But I'd like to tell you some thoughts about the watch and how it's been using it for the past six months or so. This watch case is made of titanium, so it's got a very, very sturdy build. And I've definitely noticed this upgrade from my Apple Watch Series 6, which was made of aluminium. One of the ways I can see this difference is that I haven't gotten a single scratch on this watch and when I got my Apple Watch Series 6 a few years ago it already had a scratch after one day or so so I very quickly bought a case to put on the watch and then it immediately became much bulkier than it was initially this Apple Watch Ultra is very bulky in itself so I can imagine if I had to put a case on top of it. So I'm very happy that this titanium build prevents this watch from scratching up easily. So that also means that I get to wear the watch the way it was meant to be worn. I think it fits very nicely on my wrist. It's definitely a very, very large watch. I think it's around 49 millimeters, whereas my Apple Watch Series 6 is 40 millimeters. So of course, I had to get used to this, to having this big watch on my wrist, and I was very scared that my wrist would be too tiny for this big watch. But I've actually grown to love this size a lot because it makes everything much easier to see on the watch, especially text if I get a message or if I get an email or something like that. And it's also made me use the watch even more for stuff like reading my messages, but also like checking the weather or checking my health data and stuff like that and buying this watch has also actually made me use it even more than i did my apple watch series 6. it's got this very nice big screen as i mentioned earlier it's around 49 millimeters but also it's a very bright display i think it could go up to 2000 nits just like the new iphone 14 pros and that means that this watch is visible in any location and no matter if I'm standing outside in bright sunlight I'm able to see this watch face clearly. I sometimes like to have a photo of my kids as the watch face on this and I really enjoy it a lot more because I can see it more clearly both due to the big screen and the increased brightness of this watch compared to the Apple Watch Series 6. And it, I also think it gets brighter than my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro even though that watch is also visible outside in the sun. I've really grown to love the design of it, even though it's very, very bulky, I, I like it. I know that it can handle me using the watch, and I at least haven't really noticed any damage on this watch, so I'm very, very impressed by that. I also like the bigger reel it's got. It makes it easier to control when I'm navigating the watch. I especially also like this orange button on the other side here, since you can quick access stuff on the watch. I've set it up so I can get quick access to my uh, exercises. So it's very easy for me to begin an exercise. I don't have to model with, you know, finding the app in the display and then tap it and then tap another button once more to get the exercise started. I just have to tap this button and then uh, it starts immediately. Uh, another thing I like about this Apple Watch Ultra is definitely the battery life. Now, compared to a lot of other smartwatches on the market, it's nothing to brag about because it only lasts around one and a half to two days, I'd say, uh, depending on how much I've used it for tracking my workouts. But mostly it lasts me around two days. 
and that's nice for me because my regular Apple Watch Series 6, I had to charge it at the end of the day or maximum the end of the evening before going to bed if I wanted it to track my sleep. Whereas this watch can go on for two days before I need to charge it up before going to bed. And that's a very nice improvement for me because it makes me again feel safer wearing the watch for longer periods of time because I know I can depend on it to not just be dead by the end of the day. I don't have to think about what I'm using the watch for. Whereas when I had my Apple Watch Series 6, I sometimes had to think about, well, do I need to, do I want to track this walk or should I not do it because I know it will use more battery and stuff like that. I don't really have to think about that with this watch and it just gives you peace of mind. And that's, I think, the why you would get an Apple Watch in the first place. So yeah, I really, really like the battery life. Also, I think it charges up pretty quickly. I don't know, I think it's about an hour or so and then it's fully charged. I also sleep with this Apple Watch Ultra on and I know that some people might find that this watch is too big and too bulky and they can't sleep with it on, but I don't have any problems with it. In fact, I both sleep with this Apple Watch Ultra and the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro on each night. So I think I'm just pretty used to sleeping with my watches on and I think the sleep tracking on the watch is pretty accurate. I don't know how good it is at tracking the stages of sleep, but it is pretty good at tracking whether I'm sleeping or not. Another thing I like about this Apple Watch Ultra, I know the Series 8 also supports this, but as a woman I really like the fact that it can measure my temperature and use it to predict when I'm going to have my next period. I really like it and it's super easy to see it in the health app, both on the watch but also on my iPhone whenever I need it. It just makes life easier for me to know, oh, I'm supposed to get a period soon and you know, if you know, you know. <laughs> it's a very fluid experience using this Apple Watch Ultra. I rarely see it stutter and no matter how quickly I switch between the apps I'm using. It just keeps on going. Whereas, especially with my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here, I relatively often actually see that it stutters a bit when I'm navigating the watch. Another thing I like about the Apple Watches in general is their official Apple bands. I got this trail loop band from the Apple Store and I know it's beginning to look a bit used, and but it still does what it needs to do. It makes the watch sit tightly on my wrist and it also is very easy to take the watch off and put it back on with this Velcro system. I know the Apple Watch Store has a lot of different bands, so I'm sure that if you'd like to buy any Apple Watch, then you'd find a band for you. And you don't even have to buy at the Apple store, you can also buy at third party stores because a lot of the bands are a bit expensive. I got a lot of Apple devices, I gotta admit, I got both MacBook and iPad, I got Apple TV, I got AirPods, I got an iPhone, and then I got this Apple Watch. And it just fits so nicely into my ecosystem, you know, I can receive messages on the watch, I can receive phone calls on the watch, I can also see when I get a notification on Facebook or Messenger, stuff like that, and I really, I really like it. And it's just so easy to set it up with my iPhone, and it also syncs to my other devices through iCloud. A neat feature in this ecosystem is also the fact that when I turn on my MacBook Pro, I don't even have to sign into the computer or to the MacBook, my watch will recognize that it's my MacBook and I'm wearing my Apple Watch and then it'll just automatically sign in and turn on the computer so I don't have to do anything and it's just so, feels so magical every time it works. Of course, sometimes it doesn't work and then I have to type in my password but I think in around 70% of the time to some it'll work perfectly. You can actually control the camera on your phone by using your Apple Watch Ultra. In fact, I'm doing it right now. I can see whether or not I'm in frame and I can also stop the recording and I can start recording. And the only thing I think it's a bit limited compared to my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro here is the fact that on the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I can actually pause the uh, recording and I can then uh, start recording again. On the Apple Watch Ultra, I can only start and stop a recording. I can't pause it and then resume it afterwards. Also, on my Galaxy Watch 5 Pro, I'm able to shift between taking a photo or 
taking a video on my phone camera. I can't do this on the Apple Watch. So it's a bit limited compared to Samsung's offering. I use it to track all my exercises, no matter if it's just a walk with the dog or if it's a run or if it's a, a, me taking the bike to work or something like that. I use it to track everything and it also tracks my steps, it tracks my heart rate and it also alerts me if I got an irregular heart rhythm. I thankfully haven't experienced that at all, but just knowing that if I ever had an irregular heart rhythm, then this watch could alert me and it makes me feel much safer. Also when I'm out and about, if someone attacked me or anything like that, I could just very quickly call someone and let them know that I need help. Also, this Apple Watch Ultra has this button you can click and then it'll make a sound. So if you're ever out in the woods or need someone to bring their attention towards you because you need help, then you can just click this and it'll make this beeping sound that'll become louder and louder. It just, again, makes me feel safer when I'm on my own. It just fits nicely into my day. It, you know, I, I before I had my Apple Watch Series 6, it was the first smartwatch I got. I couldn't really imagine what I would be using this watch for. But then my dad, he's got a sickness in his heart and he got ill. And then he got an Apple Watch Series 5 to be able to track his heart rate and his heart with him. And also it just made the family feel safer leaving him alone because we knew that the watch would alert him if he was having a regular heart with him and he would also be able to call someone quickly. And this Apple Watch also, also has, or oh, I think most of the newer Apple Watches, they have fall detection. So if someone falls and maybe lose their consciousness or something like that, then it'll be able to call for help. And that made me and the rest of the family feel much more at ease leaving my dad at home and uh, thankfully he's uh, most of the time good now and when he got that watch it made me think about what a smartwatch could do for me and also made me feel safer. So I think one of the reasons I got an Apple watch to begin with was just the peace of mind. I knew that somebody could help me if anything happened to me and I could stay connected to everything without needing to have my phone right nearby. One of the bad things I've experienced with this watch is the fact that it irritates my skin sometimes if I've worn it for long periods of time, which I usually do. I only take it off when I need to charge it every other day and for now in the evening and then when I go to the shower I also usually take it off. But that's the only times I take it off. I sleep with it on, I got it on all day except for when I'm at work because I'm working in healthcare, so I'm not allowed to wear my Apple Watch at work. But sometimes my skin actually gets a bit irritated from wearing the watch. I get a red rash where the watch case has been. I don't usually get it when I'm wearing my Samsung Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. I don't know if it's something with the materials they have used in the Apple Watch compared to the Galaxy Watch 5, because I haven't experienced that with the Galaxy Watch 5 Pro. It could just be me and maybe my skin is a bit sensitive and another thing could also be that I'm just wearing the watch it's too tight on my wrist or something and I need to loosen it a bit so more air can get in under the watch into my skin so it can breathe better. That's the only bad thing I can think of when it comes to this watch. Of course I'd like it to last even longer than two days. It would be amazing if it could last maybe five days or so before I had to charge it up. Yeah, I'd say what I recommend this watch if anybody asks me. It's a bit difficult because I'm not an extreme sports woman or I don't do extreme sports, which this Apple Watch Ultra is actually targeted towards those people who do that because it can track some kind of uh, sports that the regular Apple Watch can't do but I don't really use those features. I use it the same way that I use my Apple Watch Series 6 and if I'm being honest, then the Series 6 still worked fine and then it could do just about everything I wanted it to do the same way that this Apple Watch Ultra does it. 
I would only recommend this watch to someone who's maybe a bit clumsy like myself and gets sad whenever they see a scratch in their brand new Apple Watch and they want to have them some more peace of mind when it comes to the build quality and don't have to baby the watch because I really haven't babied my watch. I can handle almost everything. Uh, I've thrown at it. <laughs> you, if you're a clumsy person and you don't like seeing scratches and you don't like, like having to buy a case for your Apple Watch to keep it in good condition, then this watch could definitely be a very good idea for you to buy. And also if you just like the bigger screen and yeah, I'm a woman and I know some people might think that this watch is too big on my wrist, but really, I like it. I, I like this sturdy look. It enables me to stay connected to everything and everyone, but then at the same time, the Apple Watch Ultra has also made me use the watch more, simply because it's bigger and it's got a better battery life and it also enables me to choose when I want to respond or react to my notifications from the phone or not. So it in some ways actually makes me use my phone less because I can just see, oh, it's nothing important. I can just wait to respond until I think it's phone time. <laughs> and then I can keep also being more present in real life with my kids when I'm playing with them or walking the dog, whatever I'm doing, sitting with family, I can just, you know, look at the wrist and say, and then think, oh, I got a notification from Snapchat, but I don't really have to respond to this right now. I have to stay present in real life. I definitely recommend this watch if you've got the money, if you like the bigger screen, if you like the sturdier build and better battery, and definitely the fact that you don't have to baby your watch at all. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day or night, depending on when you're watching this video. Bye.